The Bolivian Republic of Venezuela has announced that in the year 2012, the country will begin production of pharmaceuticals domestically to meet the needs of the Venezuelan people. The Vice Minister for Health Services Networks said that around May next year, they will begin the operation of pharmaceutical plants with the goal of guaranteeing medicine supplies to the population of Venezuela. According to Espinata, the health minister Eugenia Satter is currently in Europe purchasing all the technology and materials necessary to get production underway. Currently, Venezuela imports its medication through agreements with several nations, including Portugal, Cuba, and Colombia. The beginning of domestic production of antibiotics will help serve the purpose of national independence, a necessary measure given the increasingly hostile stance the Colombian government has been taking towards Venezuela with its false claims of guerrilla support. They've also reached an agreement with China to build a factory to produce saline solutions and other saline products, expected to begin operation in July or August. The domestic production of pharmaceuticals is absolutely necessary in order to maintain independence. The danger here is that the U.S. can gain influence over another country that is supplying them with pharmaceuticals and begin increasing the price or just cutting them off completely. Obviously, this would lead to shortages of necessary medications. In the news, we would start hearing stories of how supposedly socialism is causing a shortage. It's a very old tactic that has been used on socialist countries in the past, deliberately causing shortages in a country and then proceed to blame the country. The Bolivarian Republic under Hugo Chavez will not fall for this.